body convoys. That's a good option. All right, I'm waiting for two to find their seats. Waiting for four. Oh, you got speech, huh? Ah, oh, never mind what I'm saying. You're good. Hey. One last time. Are you ready to learn? Yeah. Ready. Are you ready to learn? Let's sit straight and take a moment to get centered. Bringing your awareness to your posture. Sitting straight. Shoulders back. Through the nose. In. you need to make sure you have a pencil on your desk. Give me a thumbs up when you have a pencil ready to go. I got a pencil. I see Marley's got a pencil. I see Caleb. Where's your pencil? Caleb. Other than a pencil, you can clear off the rest of your desk, please. Makari, clear your token board. Right. When you get your paper, what's the first thing we do with it, Mr. Brown? Name. What do we write on there? Marley's doing it. Write your name and the date, which is the 24th of October. Start. Yeah. All right, Caleb, can we finish up that snack so you can be present? Put it on the 
I want you to write. Understand. Are you with me, Angel D? What goes in this blank room? He has a one here. Yeah. Where? That's for solving a problem. Number one in the blank, I want you to write the word. Understand. First step, Makari, to solving a mathematical <laughs> word problem is to understand what it's asking of you. Which involves us to think. So what do we write this blank? Number one? What's the word we do, cut? Yeah, Number two? Step two. 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 Steps to solve a word problem. Uh, what's the word we do, cut? Yeah. Understand the problem. She's jumping and said wait, wait. Jumping and said wait, wait. Number two. Marley, what does it say? Make a plan. Make a plan. Very good. So, for number two, we got to fill in the blank with the word plan. Good, Makari. Understand the problem. Next step two, we have to make a plan. What goes here, bud? Plan. Dylan got it. Next, we have to make a plan. Which means we have to come up with some sort of strategy, some sort of approach to solving the problem. And don't worry, I'm going to give you some examples in just a moment. Step number three. What is step number three, Angel? Can you read it for the class? Solve the problem. Yes! Solve the problem. Caleb, how many missing words on the note taker can you count? Solve. 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 The oh, problem. Yes, Dylan, great job. So we need to write two separate words today because there's two different blanks. We have solve and problem. And Mr. Brown, what's the fourth step? Can you read it? The fourth step for solving the word problem? Yeah, very nice. So, how many blanks are there on your note taker for this one? There are four? Yeah. How many blanks are two? there? Two? Yep. There's two blanks. So we have check your work. Your work. If you need support class, look at the board. I've written the answers to the note taker there. Yay. So, let's do a quick comprehension check. Marley, how many steps are there for solving a word problem? On the, uh, I don't know. How many yeah. steps total? Solve so the problem. Oh, that's, the, that's the third oh. step. How many? Let's count. One. One two, three, four. There are four steps. That's exactly right. Yeah. Video? Okay. 
Listen. Let's go. Hey, McCart, if you'd like to give yourself a token, you may, because you're doing a great job participating. But, What's another expectation when there's a video playing? Raise your hand if you'd like to answer. Quiet. Raise your hand if you'd like to answer. Caleb. Quiet. Very good. Angel, what do you think? Watch the video. Watch the video. Welcome back, hi. Good job. You're doing a great job. All right. So, watch the video. It's going to go over the four steps for solving a word problem. Understanding the problem, making a plan, Solving the problem and checking your work. Oh no, Moby. It's our turn to make sandwiches for the soccer team. We totally forgot. gets a sandwich. That's eight sandwiches. Each sandwich needs two slices of bread. How many slices do we need all together? To solve any problem, first you have to understand it. Did you see that, class? That's step number one. Understanding the problem is the first step in solving a word problem. Our 
friend here made a strategy of drawing the picture, drawing out the problem so she could visually see it. Once she solved, what's the last step on your note taker, Marley? What's step number four say on your notes on the other check, side? Check. Check your work. Check your work. So last, before you say you're done, you have to go back to the question, Mr. Dylan, and say, Am I, did I get this correctly or not? We wanted to know how many slices of bread we need to make eight sandwiches. I think we need 15 slices. You're right, Moby. You should always check your work. Hey, I made a mistake in my drawing. That's okay, Moby. Mistakes happen. That's why you need to check over your work. We need 16 slices of bread. This loaf costs $3. I'm paying with a $5 bill. How much change should I get back? First, understand the problem. I need to know how much money I should get back. Second, make a plan to solve. I'm going to use mental math as my strategy. I have a $5 bill, which is equal to five $1 bills. The bread costs $3. That means I should get $2 back. Now I need to check my work. I can write a number sentence to check. $5 minus $3 is equal to $2. Remember, when you come across a word problem, just follow these steps. First, understand the problem. Next, make a plan to solve it. Then, solve the problem. Finally, check your work. All right, how many strategies are there? Or how Four. many steps? You got it, Marley. What's the first one? Understand, understand the problem. What's the second one? Plan. Make a plan. The third one? Solve. Solve it. And last? Check, check your work. Hey, Angel. Great job. I'll hire. Mr. Hyde, you're our lights helper. Would you like to turn the lights on, please? Okay, who's ready to do a little practice? Come on, baby. Are you ready to learn? No, I'll be ready. Come on, everybody. No, Lift your note taker over to the back side. Hey, Marley, you're doing it right. Can you show the rest of the class which side we're using now? Show the class, what side are we using? Yep, you see that class? Show the back side. Okay, we're doing it where we have four boxes. This side right here, Angel D. This side right here, Makari B. This side right here, Caleb C. This right side right here, Angel G. Caleb C. Why did you do that? You got, you got carried away. I'll give my talk to Cali. You're lucky. I got one more. Don't, don't sully this one, okay? Keep this one clean. We got it, Mark. All right. Here we go. Understand, plan, solve, and check your work. First step is what? What's the first step of our of our four-step plan? Understand the problem which involves us to read what it is exactly that it's asking us. As we read Makari, we are going to determine the determine the operation. Operation, Marley, is a fancy word to say. What are we actually going to be doing in this math problem? Is it an addition problem? Is it a subtraction problem? Let's figure it out. Can I have a volunteer to help read the question? Thank you, Makari. Go ahead.
So, first, what is the first step of our four-step plan? Understand. We have to understand what the question is asking us. So, what object are we using with? And this question actually gives us a visual support, so we can actually use the visuals to help figure out what exactly we're asking about. So what are we talking about in this word problem, Makari? Fish or cars? Car. Cars. Yeah, we're talking about cars. So we know that something, our answer is going to have to do with cars. All right. How many do I have to start? Four. I have eight cars. How many do I give to a friend? Four. Four. That's exactly right. So I'm going to leave our steps on the board because we're going to use them again. Step number one is to understand the problem. Now as a class, we identified some key terms and we clarified what it is exactly that we're asking. What does the question ask us again, Angel D? How many? How many cars do I have left? Exactly. How many do I have left? So one of the key steps of this hike is going to be to determine which operation we're going to use. So we understand the question. I'm going to put a check mark. Next, we have to make a plan. plan. And the plan that I'd like us to try on this activity is to make a drawing, use a visual. So in your box, where it says number <coughs> one, I want you to draw eight tiny little cars. It doesn't have to be that good. You just have to do little circles. Wait, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. Exactly right. You're going to draw in the box that says number one. I want you to draw eight little circles, please. In your box that says number one. I did this one. You did eight. Excellent. Oh, pencil. Do you even have a toy car? How many? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You need two more. Seven, eight. Number one is draw. Number one is So, our strategy, Makari, our plan is to use a visual support to help us determine the answer to our word problem. Eight cars in a row. I want you to draw eight little circles in the box that says number one. All right. What's next, class? We have, we have eight toy cars to start with. Simple enough, right? How many do I give to my friend? Four. Yes. Now, if I'm using a strategy which involves visually checking off what I need to, am I adding four more or am I subtracting four away? We're talking about four away. Exactly. Well said, Dylan, because I gave four to my friend. From your eight, let's cross four off. Because we know we gave four to a friend. Ready? Count with me. One. It's one. Yes, one. Uh, is there one two? Three. One yep. Two? Still on number one. Four. One. Two. Yeah, three. Look at that four. Right here. So we're still in box number one, Marley, and I want you to cross off. No, I was getting this one. Good job. All right, so cross four off because we Woo! gave four to a friend. I got two more. So, how many cars did we start with? Eight. Did we get four more, or did we give four away? We gave four away. We gave four away. So, which operation do we need to use? Addition or subtraction? Are we taking away, or are we adding two? Angel D. We're taking away. Correct. Nice. So, we have eight cars, and we're subtracting four because we gave them away. So, the operation is subtraction. Now, from the beginning of the lesson, what is the answer to a subtraction problem called? Five. What is go to the go to the front side? What is the answer to a subtraction call problem? What's that word? It's a special vocabulary word. word. Is it bad? bad? Number one, cross it off. Cross four off. off. Yep. One or two. Listen to my question. What is the answer to a subtraction problem called? Yup, Dylan's got it. It's called the difference. Dylan. Great job, my friend. Thank you for your participation. So we are looking for the difference between eight and four. Marley, would you say the answer again? What's the difference between eight and four? Four. Who 
we got? So, we solved the problem. We made a plan, which was to visually represent our problem. 8 minus 4 equals 4, then number 2. 8 minus 4 equals 4. Check your work. Box number 1 or 2. No, and you're on it. Box number 1 or 2. Dylan just said it. I was you. You anticipated my question. What's the last step? Check your work. We gotta check our work. So let's go back to the question. Let's make sure we have everything right. How many cars did I start with, Angel? Four. Eight. So did you wait eight cars? I had eight. How many did I give to a friend? Four. Okay. So are my numbers correct so far? Yes. All right. Eight minus four. Let's do it on the number line. One, two, three, four. Now, the last thing we're missing, and I want us to practice this high in our class. No! Did I do anything? Sure. Why is the paper falling? It was an accident. Just say please and thank you, please. Please. Thank you. You can say you're welcome. You're welcome. Good. One thing I want us to practice with our word problems. Makar, are you still listening? Anytime we're doing a word problem, I don't want to just answer with the number. I want to be specific what the number represents. So to find that out, we have to go back to the question. Can you read the question in Makari one more time? How many four cars do we have left? So how many cars do we have left? Four. So what, what word goes with the word four, with the number four here? We have four what? Cars. Four cars. So, you, Marley, you, hi, you, Dylan, just did the four-step plan to solve a word problem. We understood it. We made a plan. We solved it. We checked our work. And we checked our work. How about one more? I think we can do one more. So, we started with a subtraction problem. Let's find something a little more challenging, huh? How's that sound? Good. Good. Yeah, that's a nerve, by the way. I go with the burger. We're going to do the paintings this time. Ah, poop to me. All right. So this will be question number two. We'll do one more before we call it a day. Let's check in with our work. What is the answer to an addition problem called? The difference or the sum? Once you see raised hand. What is the answer to an addition problem, Angel? The sum. The sum. Marley, how many steps are there when solving a word problem? How many steps can you count? One, two, three, four. Four steps. Okay, let's go through each step. What's step number one, Makari? We have to understand. understand the question, which involves us reading it. Can you please read the question, Makari? really important that you read the numbers exactly as it says it, please. How many paintings? Eleven paintings. The girls made seven what? paintings. But Patty made one painting. How many paintings did they make left? Great reading, bro. You did a great job. Can I give you a token? Yeah. All right. Higher tail. Amazing job. So, we have to understand the question. We have to understand what the heck is this problem asking us to figure out? To figure that out, let's go straight back to the question. What is it asking us, Angel D? How many paintings did they make in all? We gotta find the total amount. And we have three different operations here. We have, we have a lot going on, or three different components to this problem. Mr. Pastel is an art teacher. We don't really need to know that, but it's there. What does this sentence say? You the ready? boys in his class made how many paintings, Dylan? Can I help me? Seven. Eleven paintings. So, okay, class, let's stay focused for a second. Let's please stay focused. Marley, can you take away. your desk? Damn. No, I'm just no, right. 
Students, I need your attention. We're almost there. Brother, Stay focused. Brother. Stay focused, class. We're almost done. Dylan, please take your desk. We're almost done. Oh, your spot. How many paintings did the boys make? Marley. How many? So I want you to write on your page 11 little squares like this. They want to represent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five paintings the boys made. How many paintings did the girls make? Seven. So I want you to write seven more boxes. Bye, Taco. How did my book feel there? Wait, that's so many! That's so many! I know, it looks like a lot. These are the boys. Girls made up seven. How many paintings did Mr. Pastel make? Makari. Mrs. Smith. Yes, Caleb. You're trying to help everyone or me? Both of us. Number two is draw squares. Yep. How many paintings did Mr. Pastel make? Seven. So this is just one strategy, class. If the numbers are too high, you don't have to make a drawing each time. You could just write the numbers. I thought it did. Okay, so we, what we end up having is, because we're looking for the total, we're trying to find the sum. So if we're determining the operation, we need to add or subtract. Great job, Marley. Marley has the answer. She solved. She, she did step three. Was it number 17? So we understood the problem, and we made a plan. We've used a strategy. In this case, we used a visual strategy once again. What is that Look at I did it, Ben. Nice, Marley. Good job. Last step is to solve. If we're looking for the sum, we are going to be adding all of the different squares together. So who can help me count? Let's count together as a class. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's okay, I'm asking everyone to count with me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So how many? Marley, he's participating. You should be participating too. That's what's coming with him. Question is how many total paintings did they make in their class? 19 paintings. Good. Yeah, Good. Good job, Marley. Good job, Makari. 19 paintings is your response. What's the last thing to do? We solved. And check your work. Last thing is to check our work. That's exactly right. So Let's use a different strategy to check our work. We're going to use 11. We've already determined that the operation is addition, so we're going to add. Right, Dylan? we got 11 plus 7. Plus 1? Yes. Plus 1. Equals 19. Good job. This time, let's use tally marks. 11. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 1. Now we got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We checked our work. We got the right answer. Good job. Oh, I forgot this one's water. So yeah, we only had time to do two problems today, but tell you what, that's plenty. We had one with subtraction. Well, three, four. Oh. We'll do that one another time. All right, sit straight one more time. Let's finish as we started. Take a sit straight. No. Breathing in. Two more breaths. 